Yasuharu Takanashi, holy fuck! That was all I was thinking while watching the first episode. Okay, no it wasn't, but still. Yasuharu Takanashi is one of the greatest but most underrated composers ever, and I recognized that style as soon as the show started. His greatest work is Hellgirl, far and away, and I'm tempted to watch this show just for the soundtrack. So the main guy is a middle schooler who looks like a high schooler who has a disturbingly strong hair fetish. Well, I've seen more bizarre fetishes before in my life. There's a scene where there's some awkward heavy breathing when the dude gets extremely turned on just by feeling the lowly's hair, and that's the problem with this whole scene. It's a motherfucking under Underaged lowly. Making such a steamy scene just made me feel extremely filthy and uncomfortable. I probably would have liked it if that weren't the case. So basically, this is about magical death instruments that people try to kill each other with. The plot synopsis is retarded. It says that because the hair queen's hair has been cut, there's suddenly a game to kill her now. Stupid as hell. Why? What's the point? How retarded are these villains? I doubt any number of excuses is going to fix that. Kotori Kowai needs to stick to more Joshi Raku style roles, because her acting during scenes where her character was supposed to be sad and whatever was quite bad. She's good for an overly sweet, diabetes inducing, bubbly and energetic voice, but she can't use it well in serious scenes, and her character, the main lowly blob, looks to be an extremely boring and helpless character, but they might actually go somewhere with her character but I doubt it. Now that I think about it, maybe I won't keep watching, even though Yasuharu Takanashi is composing the music. I'll probably just download the OST later instead. If they're going to have any more etchy-esque scenes with the hair fetish nonsense, I'm definitely dropping it. I ain't having any more of that.